Hi guys, welcome back to AJ's Paintings. Um, today I'm going to do another Dutch pour uh, and I might end up playing with it a little bit with the, uh, you know, messing around with maybe a little bit of swipe, a little bit of playing with the stick, but we'll see how it turns out. If I like it, I might not even touch it after the Dutch pour. Um, but as you can see, there's a painting already here. Um, this painting, um, when I worked on it, uh, when it was still wet, I loved it, but when it dried, I not so much. <laughs> um, I didn't really like it that much. So it could happen. Sometimes when you make a painting, you absolutely love it. And when it dries, you're like, uh, I don't know if I. it's my favorite. Um, so what do you do? Um, you can, you know, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, you can just, you know, go over it and paint over it. You don't like so many people ask this question like what did what do I do? Do I just sew on my painting first before I pour over it again or do I paint it white or whatever? No, you don't really need to do anything. Um, you can just pour over it. Um, this one doesn't have any silicone in it so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, if it did uh, and this one would not be using any silicone, I would wipe it clean. I would clean it up but I would actually do a technique that used silicone just to make sure that if there's any oil um, and I want to, you know, those cells that silicone oil creates, then I would I would use that technique uh, on that painting. But this painting did not have any silicone in it um, and the one that I'm doing today is not going to have any silicone in it, so it should work perfectly fine. Uh, so all you need to do is make sure that it's clean um, and then just go over it. Um, if you know as soon as you pour <laughs> and you know that you don't like it at all, you can definitely scrape it up right away. Just use your popsicle stick or whatever you have, like a, you know, stirring stick. This is a tongue depressor. Um, whatever you have, you can just, you know, scrape it off um, and then do it again. Um, so. Okay, um, so today's color scheme is a little bit funky, I would say. Um, I mixed a, a couple of paints in here for my background. Um, it's, uh, I think it has like a, a, a white, green, blue, and a little bit of red in it. Um, and it's like light bluish tone. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to use for my base layer. And then I have red in here. Uh, I don't know which one it was. Um, but, oh, I know. I don't know which one it is. It's Flo Acrylics Red. It's like the simple Artist Loft Flo Acrylic Red. Um, this one is Vermilion. This is also by Artist Loft. I have Dark Magenta by Artist Loft. Thalo Green. Again, Artist Loft. So all the paints today are Artist Loft. White Flow Acrylic and Old Gold. This one is my favorite. I love this one. Okay, so I'm going to cover it, uh, cover the painting with my uh, base layer and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I'm back. I covered it with my base layer um, and now I'm just going to torch it make sure I get rid of all the bubbles at this point this is a very important step make sure that you keep moving don't stay at one spot for too long um, just keep moving if you see still see bubbles in the same spot come back to it go around and then come back to it let it just cool down a little bit um, and then come back to it sometimes it will take you um, three to four times going over uh, to get rid of all the bubbles yeah just keep doing that that makes make sure that not doing it at the same spot they don't stay at the same spot for too long so I went around like two three times um, and I can still see some bubbles that are coming up okay I think we're good all right so how do we want to do this hmm so I think I'm just I did a smaller one the other day um, that was just kind of going around like that and then I just blew it and I loved that one how it turned out this is a bigger canvas so maybe maybe I'm gonna try doing that um, okay so I'm gonna start with white and figure out 
my composition okay so let's just wing it don't really need to think too much about it okay there we go <laughs> okay now oh I lost my okay there we go found it um red this might end up going a bit too much because I poured so much with my squeeze bottles that now when I, I try to do it with the cup, I feel like I pour a bit more than I do with the squeeze bottles. Oh, that went well. Okay, wow, it's spreading, like really spreading. Okay, what's next? Hmm. These are all funky colors. Let's see what comes up with that. Okay, vermilion. My white is completely disappearing. Okay, let's do pale green. No, let's do gold first. I want it to be under so it will be able to create some cells. like sandwich in between the other colors okay now we can do our halo green that's really weird combination with the back with this base layer <laughs> okay uh, dark magenta Looks like a river, doesn't it? Guys, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, leave me a like, a comment. I love to hear from you guys and I'm very, I'm trying my best to be quick uh, to answer all your questions. Um, and yeah, if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, so I'm going to pop all the bubbles now. It looks so cool. Part of me just wants to leave it like that. <laughs> okay. Huh. Let's see what will happen when we start blowing it. I really really want to swipe though hmm okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of swipe I know I said a Dutch pour uh, but I'm gonna do a little bit of swipe and then I'm gonna blow over it why not okay so I got my swiping tool which is just the the cardboard the uh, cardstock I don't know um, this is the one that's you know come with the canvas on top of the canvas uh, so I have this I have like a smaller one cut up to so let's see what we can do with this uh, which way do I want to go okay I'm gonna do this one okay And I think I'm gonna go do this one. Change it up a little bit. And 
of looks like a petal, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do Dutch pour anymore. Oh my goodness. That looks so pretty. Wow. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I thought I was just going to do that part and then blow here, but I don't know. It just looks so pretty. I just want to continue doing this. Just taking... A life is as a life of its own. Okay. Let's do this. Keep doing this. Whatever. Okay. So every time I swipe, I wipe it clean um, with the paper towel or just, you know, on the edge of my table here. Right there. <laughs> uh, okay. Just to make sure that I have a clean one every single time. Do I want to do this part or do I want to keep it? Okay, maybe a little bit. See, now this is going to turn. Uh, it's not straight anymore, so I'm going to I'm going to get another one because then it would push down in the middle and the side wouldn't be the same. Okay. There we go. Got another one. And where do I want to go? Maybe a little bit in here. Too much pink in there. There. Okay. Let's do this one. Uh, wow. I like how the magenta and the green kind of have this relationship <laughs> they look so cool together okay stop doing this okay okay so this part I want the colors to come on top so I'm gonna go from the side So the edges, I'm going like zigzag on purpose because I want them to be a little bit like that. Okay. I think I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing on the other side too. Yeah, I not I'm not going to do the Dutch pour at all on this one. Yeah, because I love, love, love what's happening with it. Mm, I don't know. It's so hard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me try a little bit in here and see if it's going to go with it. Let's do a little bit. Oops. Sorry, just lost my attachment. There we go. So, corner, hair dryer. I'm going to try on the low speed first and then I'll go on the high one if I need to.
Okay, I love what happened in here, but I don't like what's happening in here. So... Okay, so I wanted to have the same kind of effect on that side too. This, I don't like at all. So, uh, let me get a clean one for swiping. So, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it into the size that I like. Okay, so let's see if we can save this part so I don't have to scrape it. Uh, thinking if I should go with a smaller one. Yeah. Wow, I love what's going on in here. And I don't mind the negative space in there either. Okay, small one. I kind of like it now um, because it creates that contrast um, with all these bright, bright, bright colors um, and these this bright lacing over here. But then this one is like very muted. So um, I think I kind of like it. I'm gonna keep it. Um, I'm thinking if I don't want to touch it. It looks so beautiful, but this is going to be a lot of negative space. I mean, I, it doesn't bother me as much, but, uh, hold on, let me look at it this way. Yeah, no, I don't wanna keep it like that. Oh, I don't wanna touch that, it's so pretty, but I have to kinda go, kinda try to avoid it there. Now, go in the middle. So, um, I don't want to go all the way back. So what I'm going to do, I have some drips on the side. I'm just going to dip this card on that. Like, so I have some paint on here. And I'm going to do one, something like that in here. Okay. Kind of adding a little bit of color in there too. I like the effect that it created so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of uh, these colors on the side um, on the table kind of like just like dots of them so I can dip the edge of my card on that
Wow, <laughs> I did not expect it from this color combo. Wow. Sometimes painting just dictates what you do with it. Um, you can make all kinds of plans, you know, this is what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to end up doing it. But once you start painting, uh, it just have kind of like a mind of it all its own and it kind of dictates, no, don't do that, do this instead. And that's what happened here. I mean, I wanted to do a Dutch pour. I did a little bit in here and here, not the, the usual one. Um, so it the effect that it created, absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love these pops of colors in there. And then this side, like this, all this lacing on this side. And this one, it's actually creating lacing as we speak. It's developing. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. Wow. I absolutely love it. What is that in there? Okay, got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I started it, I did not expect it to be something that it actually ended up being. But let's hope that when it dries, I love it as much as I do now. <laughs> doesn't end up like the last one I did on the same canvas uh, but hopefully it won't I'm just fixing what I see on the side oh wow gorgeous this is what I love about fluid art like you don't know what you're gonna get doesn't many doesn't doesn't matter how many paintings you have under your belt once you start painting, you don't know what's going to happen. And this is just gorgeous. Wow. I love it. I'm going to show you guys a, a close-up so you can see what I can see. Um, hopefully, because sometimes I feel like the doesn't matter how you try it, it doesn't doesn't show the reality, like how it looks in real, but we try our best right <laughs> I'm I was I'm wondering if I what will happen if I torch it a little bit I might get more cells but then I might lose that that pop of color in there so I think I'm just gonna keep it that way yeah I'm not I'm not gonna touch it because I like it so much um okay so there you go started as something else ended up something else uh, but yay it's done <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope you like the painting. Please do leave me a like, um, subscribe, leave me a comment and share with your friends if you like it. Um, I would, you know, I would love that. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you the close up and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye.